Hello everyone, this is Reed here, and you're watching MOI. Today I've got a real quick mini manifestation for you. So when I was getting ready to start out with making my solar videos, I was like, huh, let me get my old lead acid batteries that I use for some standby and get them running and hook it up. Well, they were in horrible shape, absolutely horrible shape. The charger wouldn't charge them, and if you tried to put any load across them off the inverter, it instantly started beeping up, eh, 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 low voltage, low voltage, and cut off. However, voltmeter showed that it was sitting around 12.3 you know, amps, or so, I mean, amps not, 12.3 volts. So what the heck is going on? Well, the batteries, as they lived their life mainly in a standby situation, had become rather uh, sulfated and the internal resistance of the batteries is quite high. Batteries really need to be cycled. They don't live very well lives when they're just sitting on standby, floated the whole time. Not a very good life for them. So I decided to see if I can recover them. So what I needed to do was get an equalization charge going. And for these batteries, that meant running them around 5 point, I mean 15.2 volts to bring them up high enough where I'm overcharging them slightly to break down those sulfate crystals on the plates, get the plates to shed them off and to sort of vigorously cycle the acid. Now, this will work sometimes and sometimes it won't work. And since my main charger said, no, these batteries are in too horrible shape, what can I do? Well, I dug out my little bench power supply I used for my small electronics prototyping and I hooked it up to the battery and said, okay, Give me 15.2 volts as a constant voltage and put a little uh, diode on the battery to make certain the, ba the current went one direction and let it go. It initially started out microcurrent, you know, like 0 0.02 amps and just slowly, slowly climbed. And eventually the dam broke. Now I got, you know, over an amp going. I should have originally filmed this from the beginning, but didn't do that. Just occurred to me since I'm sort of new on this YouTube thing to or internet video thing of, maybe I should make a video about this. Now, since the dam broke, the batteries are actually vigorously bubbling, which is wonderful, meaning that I'm actually doing well here. So, I'm gonna see if I can get the mic up and see if maybe it'll come through. No idea, but if I hold my ear up to it, I can hear it. So, that's a real quick uh, overview of my idea for how to recover a lead acid battery that's lived its life as a standby battery, just floated. So if everything works, I'll be using these on my little 12 volt uh, super simple solar um, and we'll be going from there. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked the video. I hope this was informative and give you some idea. And as I like to say, imagine something and then manifest it. Take care. Bye. In this case, I needed to get them to go at around, whoops, 